Today, we're going to be talking about partial derivatives. Partial derivatives are a more advanced calculus concept than what is typically taught in AP Calculus BC, but they are an important tool in many different fields such as physics, engineering, and economics. Now, this will not be tested on the AP Calculus BC exam as it is the AP Beyond series, but rather this is Calculus 3 material of college, so if you want to major in math, then this should be an interesting video. So, what are partial derivatives? We know the derivatives we are usually used to, which is dy dx. This is with respect to a certain y equals, let's say, x squared, in which case it would be 2x using the power rule. However, let's say we have a different one where we have to use implicit differentiation, in which case, let's say, it is 5 equals x squared plus y squared. Uh, using implicit differentiation, we get 0 equals 2x plus 2y times dy dx. We solve for dy dx, we would get that dy dx is equal to negative x over y using implicit differentiation. Well, partial deriv derivatives are pretty similar to this idea. So how partial derivatives work is that you have a function and you want to take the derivative with respect to one of its variables while keeping the other variables constant. So, for example, let's say we have a function of two variables, f, x, y. So let me quickly rewrite this. Let's say we have a certain function that utilizes both variables where we could do implicit differentiation, but we could also do partial differentiation. Let's say it is x squared plus y squared. Um, now, the partial derivative of f with respect to x can be written as such. You could do f prime and then subscript of x or y, depending on whatever variable you want to do partial differentiation with. Um, or you could also do it as writing this Greek symbol del. Um, so you would write del f over del whatever variable you're working with, which can be x. It can be said as del f del x. Or So the very this Greek symbol del can also be called d or curly d, but del is one way to call it. So these are two ways to actually refer to partial differentiation. And if we were to do it with that function up there, um, is the derivative of f, with respect to x while keeping y constant. So y we treat as a constant. If we were to take a partial derivative of this, we would get, um, not this, let's do this with respect to x. Um, we would get 2x and that's it. We treat y as a constant. So let's say y is 7 and 7 squared is 49. And that's just a constant derivative of a constant 0. So we don't work with y, it's just plus 0. We, you just treat y as a constant. If you want to take a partial derivative with respect to y, you would get, 2y, no x, because you're treating x as a constant. Another quick example is let's say we have a different function that is fxy equals x squared plus xy. We could say it like this, and what we, we could to calculate a partial derivative of f with respect to x, we could simply treat y as a constant, and this gives us the following equation. Um, y... Yeah, because x is treated as a constant, let's say 5x, the derivative of that would simply give you whatever the constant, whatever the coefficient is, in which case in, it's y in this case. Um, and if we want to do f with respect to y, we'd have to treat uh, x as the constant, in which case we'd just get um, x, because that's the coefficient in front of y, x squared is just going to be treated as a constant, and we get our partial derivatives. So... Why are they important? And so partial derivatives are important because they allow us to study how a function changes with respect to its different variables. Partial derivatives have many applications in different fields, as I aforementioned. Some examples include in physics, partial derivatives are used to study the motion of objects and the forces that act on them. For example, Newton's second law of motion can be expressed using partial derivatives. In engineering, Partial derivatives are used to design and analyze structures and machines. For example, partial derivatives can be used to calculate the stress and strain on bridge or the aerodynamic forces on an airplane. And lastly, in economics, partial derivatives are used to study the behavior of markets and consumers. For example, partial derivatives can be used to calculate the supply and demand of a product or the utility that a consumer gets from consuming a good. So, in conclusion, partial derivatives are a powerful mathematical tool that can be used to study a wide variety of phenomena. If you're interested in learning more about partial derivatives, 
I recommend researching it elsewhere because we are trying to focus be focused on AP content. However, if you do want to see more videos on beyond APs, where whereas it might be beyond AP statistics or beyond AP physics, do let us know in the comments. But that's pretty much it. Let us know if you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Peace.